Hey everyone, um, so here's the second part of the hauling for the weekend. We just have some Tesco down there, TK Maxx, some fun things in there. The Works, my favourite store, Pound Stretcher and some Asda. So let's start with, may as well go right to left, <laughs> um, Asda. I picked up some of these sponges because I like these, they're really cheap, they're like 40p. Um, they used to have some in Tesco, I remember now, and um, they were 18p for about the same amount and they're great, I loved it. Look at this bag down here. So I, I like to stock up so that I don't have to go to the individual stores all the time. So I like to get my bargains from each different store. So. We go through these quite quickly because, you know, it's washing your dishes and stuff, so you don't really want to keep it too long. And the fact that it's so cheap um, is good. I, I don't bother with the fancy ones, you know, I just get these cheapy ones so that we can use them. Same with the toothbrushes. I mean, hopefully this is not too full of um, animal cruelty. But um, these are... You get two for, I think, 30p or something like that. You used to get four in a pack, but they've changed it so you get two. So they probably cottoned on to me buying them. So I've got a load of them. Um, got some treats for coffee. This is what we use. We need to call him in. No, he does rely on them, but I have definitely cut him down on those a lot. I needed a new one of these. My, my thumb bone is hurting me. Anyway, um, I got a new one of these because it had cracked what with all the juicing that we've been doing. So that's good. It's only a pound and it was uh, green. Here's more of the toothbrushes. I thought I'd try them on these. These are the Asda ones and it says 60% real fish. Whereas the other ones are like 4%, but he loves them. That's the tragedy. He's probably not even going to like these because they're good, f they're better for him. So it's 60% fish, 50% being tuna, 3% being salmon, and then soybean oil, mm, oil, various sugars. So, I mean, you know, what bugs me is the other ones. It says 100% of your cat's daily needs. Well, it's not because it's only 4%. Goodness knows what's in the other 96%. Um, I got some more of this for Wendy. This is also in the pound, in Poundland and stuff. And she requested the big round tub, but they didn't have it, but they have the conditioner. I don't think she's ever had the conditioner. She's had the shampoo and she likes it. And then she uses the hair treatment mask as hair conditioner. So I got that. It was a pound or so. Um, yeah, got that. There's two of them. But I did buy her some organic paraben free stuff from TK Maxx, which we're going to get to in a bit. It's a massive big tub and it's um, organic. I think, think it's organic. It's paraben free and, and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, it's fair trade. Um, so she probably won't be using that for a while anyway if she happens to like the, the other stuff I've got her. There's loads more of these. Loads. Won't have to need to go there for a while. Another one of these, but I'll just get him two in case he doesn't like it. Um, and then, oh, I did get plenty of toothbrushes. And then I've just got him a load of these sticks that he likes. Just those tuna ones and stuff. So that's Asda. Plenty of toothbrushes there. And then... I shall move on to pound stretcher. I went for these hangers because I'm doing all the ironing tomorrow probably and um, I just wanted to make sure I had enough from like all the stuff from Christmas and stuff like that. Um, and we're slowly and surely getting there so that mum has mostly these in her wardrobe. I've got the cream ones. I think I've got some cream ones. They must be in this one. Yep, there they are at the back. I use the cream ones and we use the 
pink and purple ones um, and they're a really good deal in pound stretcher they're the best deal that I've seen you get five for two ninety nine was four ninety nine now two ninety nine um like Primark and stuff I think it's like four pound for actually is it four pound for ten I think it might be now no no I don't think it is anyway how many do you get in here two four six eight I oh, get ten in there anyway so you get ten for three pounds it's a pound less so when you buy more it all adds up. And um, we've done it slowly and surely over time because, um, you know, it, it is expensive to change change all the hangers and stuff. But these are so good. Things just don't fall off. You can't even get them off, never mind falling off. But when I worked in retail, I know the horror of items falling off hangers. It's a nightmare. So, and Wendy, she's not the tidiest of people, but I do keep her wardrobe tidy. Um, so it helps me as well and it's good for all the ironing I just put it straight on a hanger I can't be doing with folding up unless I absolutely have to the other bargain I got is this for £3.50 now I need to give one to Gosby and Pebbles um, because I've been looking after them and I've been using the uh, kitchen roll to clean their bowls and dry them because I you know I don't want to use their sponge because I don't know if they use if that's their own personal sponge for their dishes and stuff so I've just been using the the kitchen roll and stuff for washing and drying so I thought I better replace replace the kitchen roll so I've got plenty for dad for his shining of the hob and stuff and plenty for to give to them and then I also got two bags of these and then I bought them and we were like mm, should we get them because we might see them we were like oh sod it let's get them and sure enough we saw them for the, saw them for the same price in Poundland except it was seven seven packets so I've been mugged off four packets but not to worry these things happen to me <laughs> no I got another one, we've already had two bags. And what do we have in here? Oh, I forgot about these. Yep, yeah, I saw these at the till and they don't have any uh, animal in. So I thought I shall put them in my sweetie haul. Just stick with my sweet basket, so that's be good. I love them, I love the white ones. Oh, they're so nice. Um, and then these are my ones. It's the same price, same amount for my bedroom. Moving on to the works. Yay! My favourite shop. They have all their Easter stuff. They're doing a massive clearance at the minute. It's um, 70% all stock must go. They're trying to clear out their stock. Um, so they have really good deals. They have good deals anyway. But I found some of these baskets. Yeah, just these baskets. And I thought I shall pick them up whilst they're in. But then I went and saw them in 99, in Poundland. And who knows what 99p have got in. But um, I thought I will pick them up whilst they're here. Because last year I didn't find any. And I've got some. And they were a lot deeper actually when I got them. Um, and I really wanted to use some for the Easter baskets because I just think they're so nice I got a green one for the boys um, green and blue and then this lovely more purpley one but I've got these exact same ones but they're deeper I got them a few years about hmm, I think 2010 so yes five years ago that's a long time time flies so they're only a pound i love them i didn't have any last time oh this one's a bit thingy mm. so i will have to go and get a lot more because i've got to do i'll be doing um katie emma Jaden, savannah um luke lucy sam and then maybe the children next door 
Who else? That's about it, really, I think. For all my cousins this end, anyway. Um, yeah. That'll be it. Um, anyway. Next in here, I found this. This was one ninety nine, And I want to... Oh, no. It's got ruined. Oh. Maybe I'll... Hmm. No, I'm not taking that back. Anyway, I can put... I want to do, like, a big old plaque and do, like, the future is green or, you know, the future is organic or, you know, green is organic or something, you know, something like that, like an organic quote and put it in the kitchen. But I wanted to do, like, a big, long plank of wood, like, um, you know, how they do, like, the football stadium, so, like, a long plank of just wood and then painting green sort of sloppy paint, um future is organic and put it at the top of the window and maybe do one for Louis's mum as well in in like red because her kitchen is red so i thought this would be nice just to sort of put a little note on in some paint and it's on this little paint artist thing i thought that's great you know just put around the house leaving in instructions and things like that and um, i also found oops, that's stuck this for one ninety nine. This will go nicely for my love heart display, my Valentine's display. Oh, can't wait! <laughs> yeah, that'll go really nice. And then I found two of these pens for a pound. It was two for a pound. So I got the blue one and the pink one. And I think I'll give this one to Emma because I think she'll like the blue one. And then this one's for me for when I'm doing my round my pen. Oh, the lids come off. Oh no, there isn't a lid. Okay, yeah, so I used to love them pens when I was younger. And then I also got some more pens, and I know I could totally make these myself, but I couldn't resist. I got, let's put them on the floor. I got a few of these for the Easter baskets. These were 99p, and I think they're so cute. It's gone off a bit of a weird colour because it's really late at night, and, um, I haven't used the flash, but it's much prettier in colour than it's coming up. I can assure you that. Um, and I got the butterfly as well. Oh, so cute. It looks so nice in the basket and a few other nice little things. And then this one. Because, you know, these can either go for the kiddies or for mum's friends at work. I thought that would be nice just if she gives out to her little friends as a little Easter present. Because I don't work with people anymore, so I can't do things like that. But in one of the jobs, it was actually my favourite place I've ever worked. We used to give out, um, well, no, the ladies there, because I worked with a lot of ladies, and they were all sort of older, and um, they always used to just leave things, because we I sat at a desk with um, lots of other people, and so it was a big, kind of like a big, long desk, and so we had our own little workspace, and our own things like pencils and you know we cut out pictures and stuck them on our on our prep boxes and stuff of hunky men and things like that to keep us motivated during the day and um and at, you know christmas we'd have all tinsel around our section and you know it was who could do the section up the, the best kind of thing it was so much fun i loved it um yeah, and so sometimes we'd leave things on each other's like little desk, like so in the morning you'd come in and so there'd be like a little cake in a wrapper and we'd all have one and art and we'd all each table like we'd do treats treats for the table and stuff and we'd always have a box stocked up always of sweets, all different sweets. Um uh, so yeah, that was really fun and just things like this would have been really nice and like you used to leave each other like little jewellery bits and things like that and oh it was lovely really really nice loved it shame I can't work there now it was only temporary and um yeah it was temporary and it was sort of it was a fantastic I loved the job my favourite job um I've ever had uh but it was sort of oh yeah we need you for three weeks and then we don't need you for the next two weeks or sometimes two months that never happened to me luckily because i was moved on to a more permanent role but it happened to other people i knew like they wouldn't be needed for 
you know, a couple of months and what with the this day and age they didn't wasn't making anyone putting anyone on contracts, so it was, you know, zero hour contracts, which has been kind of the story of my life. So that's been a pain, but luckily things aren't like that at the moment. Um anyway, moving on. Uh, this is another pen. Uh, I think Mum will like that because that's sort of lavendery. Look at all them pens! How could I resist those pens? Um, I got some of these buttons to do like a really cute craft project. Um, perhaps just to stick hot glue gun onto some like frame or something like that, and do a nice little frame for me Valentine's. And then I got some tissues for myself to put in my bag because I like to have cool, fun things in my bag. Oh, so cool. And I found this, this little froggy. Look. Let me try and blow it. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> anyway, it's a really cute little green frog. And anything frog, as you know, I just can't resist buying. I cannot resist buying anything frog. There's loads of Valentine's frog things. I've been hinting if I can send it to Louie. <laughs> oh, let's put all the fun things together. Oh my gosh. Love it. So nice. Putting all the fun little things together. How cute. Oh, I love it. This little froggy. I mean, I didn't need this. Where am I going to put this? I can put it in the kitchen. It was 99p. Mm, I would have rather paid 20p. Anyway, I also found this love heart thingy. So I can put some chalk on this and whatnot. And it's, you know, it's a nice sturdy plate thing. And it'll just go nice in the house. And it's a memorable thing. I could put some sort of quote like... A home is not a home without a cat, or something like that. Or just some sort of love quote for Valentine's. And then, it's only that lamp here. You know, and when it's something like this, I think all the work's gone into it. It's definitely worth my pan. I got these two glittery boxes, which, when put together, look like that. Oh, that's what I needed to get, tissue paper. That's one thing I definitely need to get. Cool, look at that, how funny. Disco, disco dancer. Got one of them, two of them. And I've got some boxes which, when put together, look like what? So, how nice. They'll be lovely to put someone's. Ooh, I don't know what you'll fit in there actually. But, oh no, I think they'll be quite big. Yeah, and then they'll be quite big. So I've got some already which are really, really small. Actually, you know, I've got. Yeah, I've got some. And then I also got this book. I got this book for one ninety nine. was £20. And it's Pure Beauty, Pure Style Flares. And, oh, it was in the proper reducey section at the front where everything's like torn and everything, but you can find some good good little deals. Um, And I just thought, on the front it doesn't look that amazing, but then inside it's really nice. And I thought this would go nice on my my little book stand thing that I have. And I put, put I'll like just open it up on a page. And even if I don't use it, I know my granddad will love it. Because I think I get a lot of my ideas from my granddad. Because he's like me, he loves pretty things. Um, Louis is the same actually as well, like he loves fancy things. Let's not get the pen on it. Uh, yeah, so this is really nice. I think he'll like this book. So I might give it to my granddad. Because he likes to turn the pages. Because I, I think I said it before in a video, um, he saw mine and he really liked it. So I got one for him. I found him a book stand in Tukmax, which is grand one of granddad's favourite shops. Mine too. And Louis. How nice is this? So nice. And um, yeah, he really likes it. He, and I got him the uh, same book that I had. Um, and he changes the pages over, like, weekly. So he sees a different page. No, this is so nice just to have on your display. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely?
some lovely pics there. Party. Lovely. Ooh, peonies. 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 Let's say it. But yeah, that's that book. I'm glad I bought that. It was only one ninety nine. Really nice. The cover doesn't do it justice, does it? So that's that. And then the other thing I got from the works, again, my favourite store, I'll say it one more time. I love that store. Is this? I thought this was a really good deal, so I thought I'd pick one up. Um because I always like to have um let's look at this, put this here. I always like to have a nice one of these. This is welcome. And it's really pretty and I like when it's got red on it because like goes with the front of our house. And I thought that's a really lovely one because you do see some and you know, they're not exactly very nice. It doesn't matter, it's a doormat, you know. But the thing is is that if you wanna fancy up the front of your house uh, pressure wash your drive and all the weeds out your drive. Uh, get two nice plant pots either side of the door. Always make sure your door, because obviously I go up to a lot of people's doors and stuff. And you know, some people take really good pride in their house. I know, I know it doesn't matter to some people, and that's fair enough. They've got other, um, uh, you know, other things that they find important, and that's that's fair enough. Each their own. But I just think it doesn't take doesn't take very long just to tidy up the front of your house and uh it just it makes the whole street look nice for everyone sort of made an effort with the front of the house it's just nice to see people taking pride in where they live really um so i always think a nice doormat don't be spending more than five pound on a doormat and um, so when i see one for a good price this is a good price obviously i'd like to spend a pound on it but you know i'm sure you can get one for a pound this is um quite thick but yeah so i love i love to just have a nice doormat and garfi sits on them and he claws them up so they you know in about a month you won't even be able to see this print so really i should probably stick to plain prints but um we do actually need one for the back so this can go there but yeah i mean we don't change them often probably about once every year maybe two years two year and a half maybe but um anyway i'm rambling so this is very nice and i like it a lot so that's that uh, moving on to tk maxx i've got some good things in here I picked up two of these. I finally got one. I've been saying for a while now that I really want to get the glass tub, storage tubs. And it's only two ninety nine. I thought it was quite a good price. Uh, just for storing things in instead of plastic. Obviously this is plastic, but this isn't. And this is much better because I don't want to be doing with the plastic. So this will be nice also to give to mum and dad so i've got two for salads because i'll be doing them salads and stuff so wendy can take this into work um and hopefully she won't smash it so i got two so mm, i don't know if i'm gonna get my dad to have a salad to be honest yeah <laughs> I'm popping one of these tubs out with salad on the workplace i don't think he'll do it he's very much a greg's man my dad so you might, you might do it, you might do it. Maybe I'll do him like a pasta salad or something like that. But I've, <laughs> actually I know why he doesn't take lunches because he says he's at the sandwich by half nine. So that's why he doesn't tend to do that. Um, uh, what else I get? And I got some of this oh if only you could smell this seriously this is so nice and i'm not the biggest fan of passion fruit but this smells lovely and we got it because it said non-gmo share share yeah paraben free vegan no animal testing no synthetic fragrance gluten free and unrefined ingredients it was 9.99 um but it, you get an awful lot in here and I mean some of the ones that you see in Tesco like 
John Frieda instead for like six pounds. So I thought that was quite good. That will last a lot. Uh, do you know what? My mum she uses a lot of shampoo and conditioner. So ooh, clickety click. I don't know how long that will last, but these smell so good. I wish you could smell these seriously. Oh, we're stuck. Hmm, what's happened there? Stuck to the thingy. Anyway, I'll get that off in a bit. This one is um, vanilla mint, and again, it smells amazing. They did have like the two matching, you know, the two scents, conditioner and shampoo, but one of them was all sort of dented, and it looked like a load had come out, so I thought, it doesn't matter too much if she has a different scent. Um, shampoo and conditioner, I'm sure they'll complement each other, those scents. This is lovely, really nice, fair for life. And then on the back, it's like all about like look, maternal care project, births funded, reforestation project, school supplies. So money goes to a good cause. And it's lovely. And I think it's like recycled plastic as well. So that will be really nice. I think she'll like that. But I thought I'll get her two lots so she can decide what she wants. And if she wants me to take one back, I can take it back. But because I didn't know which one to get her. So I got her this and then I also got her this. But to be honest, she'll probably keep it because she uses, she goes through it. I'm currently, I've said it before, I'm on the no poo challenge. So I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not putting any products in my hair. And I think I'm on like week two and... It's still a bit of a grease ball, to be honest. So I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep it up. But I would like to see it through. Because I've had such great things. And I've followed people on YouTube that are doing it. And they recommend it. And they're saying it's amazing. So I need to stick, try and stick with it. But again, I've got my beanie on. <laughs> because I don't want anyone seeing my hair. <laughs> but yeah. So. Anyway. I got this Sukin one. I got um Sukin Sukin Sukin. I don't know. I got a hand cream of this from Louis for my birthday, and it's really nice. It's all stuff. Yeah, it's really nice. So we know this brand is very good. This was more a bit more expensive. This was seven ninety nine for just this amount, five hundred milliliter, and this is. Obviously, like a whole litre, so that's better value for money. But this is a really good brand, and it's um organic. Yeah, it's uh, goes on the back. It says, da -da -da -da. "Oh yeah, Sukin Organics." So yeah, it's organic protein conditioner, and it's for suitable for fine hair which mum has and so do I and it's got all these good things on the back no sodium neurosulfate um no sulfate no synthetic fragrances no animal derivatives no harsh deterrents no propylene glycol glycol no artificial colours no whatever no mineral oils no EDTA no parabens 100% vegan. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's really nice. It's lavender. Mum loves lavender. Rich in rice and wheat proteins to fortify hair with kiwi extract, nettle and horsetail. Ooh. I'm sure it can't be cruel because it won't be vegan. So I trust that. And that makes me happy. And it's got... Carbon neutral product. Lovely. Should be really nice. So I'm really happy with that. I think she like that. But let me go and do this quickly because I'm going to run out of um, thingy time. But basically, not that interesting. I just thought I'd show you. I got 16 of these because Dad uses these and he's always running out and I always have to run to the stop. So I thought, I'm, I've, I've had enough of that. I'm going to stop right up. So I've got a load of them. Um, I got him loaf of bread and tiger bread because he loves his tiger bread. So 
We requested a crusty loaf. I got more kale for Mum for her juicy. I got quite a few goes out of that lot that I showed last time. Um, she doesn't like it. She's been moaning all week and saying that I'm horrible. And she's saying, after that lot you've got in the fridge, I don't want no more. And I'm saying, no, you have to do it. Ten, it's only for ten days. Ten days of your life. It's not hard. And she put me on speakerphone and all her friends were having a right old laugh and says, I'm mean. <laughs> oh, she's such a nightmare. She's moaning about drinking a load of green juice. I said, how hard can it be? It's all you have to do is drink a juice. It's lovely. I'd happily do it. But I think, to be honest... If I did that, I'd probably waste away. Look at me. Ugh, horrible. I have the complete opposite problem. I'm dying to put on weight. Like, I won't go out with any of my... Well, not go out. I couldn't possibly go out with my arms showing. Like, oh, no. I did it in the past. I've seen pictures. And it's just like, what is that rake in the room? Please cover up. So, you know, I'm not for dieting or anything like that i'm not trying to encourage anyone to diet i think it's silly it's just about the um health um mum she, you know she's on quite a lot of tablets and she ha she will have to be for the rest of her life because um you know things like i think she's got high blood pressure and what else um thyroid and things like that so she has she's on a lot of tablets and we watched that program and the guy he was on tablets as well and then he ended up coming off and you know her hair's been growing back and um i just i just want to try and keep them healthy you know my dad try and keep them as healthy as possible so i've been encouraging that and you know i think she's gonna have to be having one of them green juices every day because the amount of nutrients that are in it seriously like she's got lime in there she's got celery she's got cucumber she's got mostly apple yeah and i've been giving her that and it's mo and she, i said and she says it's disgusting there's too much cow i said you've got about nine apples in there you know, you find it hard to eat nine apples in one go, but drinking it in juice, and if you do it in a liquid form, it, re it like, processes much. But I need to go, I need to get going, because this is going to run out of battery, and then I'm going to have to do it in two parts, which will not be good. Anyway, I've got more nectarines, because they're great for energy, so she can have one of those when she's feeling a bit. But the other thing I will say is that she said, actually, I did have loads of energy yesterday. I said, hmm, did you? That would be the kale. Anyway, I've got more apples. Um, Louis said to get green ones for the green juice, but I mean, I think the gala's fine. And it does say in the book to use gala, but um, obviously they're not green. But um, apparently Louis says, Louis reckons that this will take the bitterness away from the cow stuff because they're sweet. So we got some of these. Didn't find any organic ones, but I mean, as long as we wash them. So we've got some Granny Smith's Tangy Crisp Juicy Classic.